Welcome to IC Optometry Talk. This video will be looking at diplopia, specifically how to break it down to determine the harmful from the harmless and what questions we need to be asking ourselves in clinical practice in order to do this. So first and foremost, you need to think about the onset. Is it sudden or is it gradual? The time course here is very important. When did the patient first start experiencing the symptoms? Is a double vision something that happens after, that's happens been happening for some time? For example, when the patient's tired or after reading a book for several hours? Or is it something that happened recently, only a couple of days or hours ago? Or for example, after falling off my bike and hitting my head? In this case, it's a sudden that we're more worried about. This is our red flag and it's our warning sign. The next question we need to be considering is, is this a monocular cause of diplopia or binocular diplopia? What I mean by this is you simply get the patient to cover one eye and if they're still getting double vision then you know this is monocular diplopia and this can be caused by things such as cataract, media opacity or even a dislocated lens, so ectopus lentus, or is this binocular cause of diplopia? This is a little bit more serious. So this, in this case, the binocular cause is our red flag and our warning sign. So we're talking about nerve palsies, Browns, Duane's, thyroid eye disease, multiple sclerosis, stroke, and the list goes on and on. This is by no means an exhaustive list. The third and final question that we need to be asking ourselves is simply, is this cognitant or non-cognitant diplopia? What do I mean by this? So are we getting double vision the same in all directions of gaze when we perform motilities? If we are, then we're not as concerned. Okay, so this is our safe category. Essentially what this could potentially mean, this is more likely to be anatomical. A decompensated foria, something with an accommodative influence, so not as serious as our um, a non-competent strabismus, which is our red flag in this case. So this, when, when our double vision is different, in different directions of cases, we're concerned this is myogenic, neurogenic, mechanical, um, intra-supranuclear, our serious causes. Thanks for listening.